Good morning, guys. So I uh, did a quick little lesson this week in our Journey of Blessings group on uh, praying in color. And my idea of praying in color is literally that, that, that it is um, praying in color. So I spend a lot of time in cars and driving my children here and there and everywhere and doing this and that in a car. And um, it's really easy to just pack some pens and some... Um, colored pencils and to just sit and doodle and pray so my idea here is truly truly that as I am as people are laid on my heart I just put them in color it in later doodle around it um, but as I'm writing their names I am kind of lost in that moment and lost in that place of uh, just reaching out to God on their behalf so um, Usually what I do do is just go ahead and put it all in black and white and then kind of come back in and color as I see fit. So um, that is that is praying in color, just starting and just keep on going. It also serves for me. Um, I have a pet peeve in that if I say I'm going to pay, pray for somebody, it, um, it means that I'm going to pray. It means that truly, truly... Um, I, I so am honored that you would even ask that I would pray for you, and you've, you've given me your heart and said, "Would you care for this? Would you, do you care enough that you would care for this heart that I'm that I'm holding out to you? And would you honor it and respect it by praying for it?" Well, yeah, but I think so many times as Christians we can say, um, "I'll pray for you." And we never enter into the holy courts. We just, that's the closest that we ever get to praying is saying that I will pray for you. So this reminds me who I am praying for. This reminds me of visual representation of who the Lord has laid on my heart or who's asked for prayer or, you know, whatever. I used to do with the kids, have a blackboard right behind our kitchen table and we would just put the prayer request up there as they were answered. We would um, take them off. But my, my kids got older and the blackboard kind of went away and, um, so this is my visual memory of, of what it is that I'm praying for. Also, this past week, we did we went through and we um, just meditated on the names of God. So yeah, let me, first, let me just kind of show this to you. This is just sort of all the different things that I don't know that the Lord has just laid on my heart to pray for. Um, and then this is uh, meditating on the names of God and just meditating on... Um, all the promises that each one of these names holds. So um, let me read. So um, Emmanuel, God is with us. What? Yay. Um, El is the strong one. So then you have El Elyon, the strong one who is God most high. Um, you've got Jehovah Jireh, provider, Jehovah Rapha, um, healer, El Shaddai, God Almighty. I love Jehovah Nisi. His banner over me is love. That just waves above me and goes before me. His banner over me is love. Um, worthy is your name. He is Abba. He's advocate. He is a consuming fire. So just to, um, I, I put on a, 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 a song and just sat with him and just doodled. Honestly, I just doodled. Everybody can write. Everybody can write. So um, this does not take any great big thing, but it is such an, a rewarding experience to just reflect on his names because within each one of these names are the promises that he lays out for us. So um, so I know that this does not really bear any kind of me showing you what I'm doing, but I thought I would just um, kind of just show you how I start. So let's say that I have, I am going to go with... Um, so I'm going to go with Psalm 6620, which is, here, maybe I'll do it this way so you can see. Um, blessed. And then once I write it, I just kind of come back in. Can you see? And I just give it more form. Blessed be God. Blessed be God who has not turned away my prayers. Who has not 
it's always fun when you're writing if you kind of um, do if you mix it up between cursive and script it kind of comes out looking sort of fun who is not turned away and then you gotta love a big squirrely thing underneath a Y or G who's not turned away um, my prayer nor his mercy from me away my oops my prayer or his mercy from me. And that is Psalm 6620, I think I said. Did I say 60? Yes, I did say 6620. Um, 66, 20. Okay, so I have that down. Now I'm just going to kind of um, define that off as um, scripture. So there you see that I've just got it sort of defined as, as scripture. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll just put like a little thing here. So it sort of looks like I've got, um, like it's a plaque or something like that, you know. And then I just start laying it in. So, of course, I always pray for um, my husband. Um, that he would be a man of God. And for me, a man of God would be character and integrity. So as I'm, if I'm not doing a video and I'm not rushed for time, I would just sit with that and just enter into a, into a conversation with the Lord, just asking blessings over my husband, blessings over our marriage, blessings over his day at work, blessings over what he does for a living, that his character and his integrity would, would shine so bright, so, so far that um, people just can discern that there's something different about him. So character, um, husband, man of God. So also I'm going to say that my children... Um, because that's what the exact same thing I would pray for my children, that their character and integrity are their calling cards. Character and integrity are their calling cards. Um, so again, I would enter into prayer over that. So I have, um, I have a friend who is, um, I have promised that I would pray for her. She has got um, something going on with her eyes. It's hard for her to see, and they did find cancer, and she's going through a hard battle with it. So um, I don't want to put her name down on the video, but I will just say um, health and restoration. And now this is where I can call on the promises of God through the names of God. So here I'm going to say Jehovah. I put a hashtag. R A F F. Uh, R A P H A. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Rapha. We pray healing and restoration. We pray that cancer has no um, place in her. So you can see, I would just keep on going with this. And what a great way to just kind of doodle away your time and doodle away, um, you know, uh, just time with the Lord. That is just, and then you have this visual representation that you can go back and you can. Um, be with him. So here, let's say that I am going to, let me say this to you. A lot of people ask me, what gel pens can I use that are not going to bleed, that are not going to become a problem? Let me say this to you. I do all of my color layouts first. So this is just, I just have color on them. I just go through and just lay down colors so that once I start writing on it, I'm just writing. I'm not going to come back in with wet medium and reconstitute it and have it come back again. Um, yesterday I put, so I always have a, a journal that I doodle with during church just so I can, these are all notes from, um, we saw Beth Moore this weekend, so these are just all my notes from Beth Moore and it just helps me connect with the material in a better way. This was our, um, this was our Ooh, sermon yesterday. So let me show you what happens. Now, I did this with, what 
pen did I use to do this? It might have been this big crystal pen. Um, and these are uh, the sprays that I made with my markers. Let me just find a color that's not going to completely blot out. So here, I'm going to show what happens. Some of them are just fine, and some of them will bleed. So I just always put my colors down first and then go back in and just doodle or write or pray or whatever I'm going to do so that the colors are down. Whoo, that smells. And um, I can just go on top of it. So, all right, coming back to this. So here I have these, this laid down. So now I'm just going to kind of come back in and color in. And even the color, like the picking up that that purple, that that color of royalty, that he would, um, that his the, his character and my children's character would be one of the calling of God. That that we are inherited um, into the kingdom of God. That we are children of God. We are royalty. And let our mouths, our tongues, our demeanor, our thoughts, our um, when we're when nobody's watching, let us be that that representation of God so and then here and of course I would just keep going with this I would just this is I don't worry honestly about what it looks like because it's a prayer it's just a visual prayer of um, what you're what you're reaching out to God I think I want a little bit of orange in there wouldn't that be wildly fun um, so here I'm just going to put his mercy is like that it just kind of shines down on us Okay, so that's the idea, and I just keep going. I would just keep taking this on and just keep going with all the different prayer requests that, that I have and the different prayers that are going into my life. So I hope that that helps anybody that is having thoughts about um, visual prayer. And then uh, give me a message if it, if it doesn't make sense or if you have any questions or anything about mediums. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.